and when Mark Hughes departed in a £1.5 million deal to Chelsea, it was clear the manager was looking to the future, taking the club into a new era. Remember, Andy Cole's arrival had put Hughes's place in jeopardy last season. He seemed the natural replacement, but then a convoluted series of bizarre incidents, including injury against Newcastle, opened the way for Mark to stay at Old Trafford. When Eric Cantona was banned, Alex Ferguson had to look at Husey once again, so much so that a new contract was discussed, and that seemed the end of that. The last five, six months have been very unsettling for myself and the family. We, we didn't really know what, what we were doing. We'd, we'd made plans to stay in the area and they looked like going out the window, but uh, um, no, we're, we're very pleased how it's turned out. And, uh, uh, you stuck with me for a few years here. But Hughes became surplus when Cantona signed a new deal. We should have known who he'd signed for. He told us in the last edition. Uh, Chelsea. Yeah. Did you? Sorry Why? about that. Why? Um, well, I think it was about around the 1970s when I first started being aware of teams and uh, and they were doing quite well at that time. So a lot of my friends, uh, Chelsea supporters as well. He wanted first team football guaranteed. He felt when once Eric come back, that was not going to be the case, which is possible, right? You know, because I think even in the best well in the world, you have to recognise sometimes that the, we go on. Manchester United has to go on, and Mark Hughes was coming to that period of his life that he was starting to 32, and strikers at 32 can't be the same as they were at 25. I mean, you think about it, Mark Hughes never injured, very very seldom, never missed a training session. Always out in the training field, never wore bottoms in the winter, freezing cold out there it goes. And it could handle knocks and bruises like no one else could ever imagine, you know. And um, he won so many games for us. A great, to me, one of the best big game players ever, without question. It's only a minute to go, it's come to Lee Sharp. Milligan has to get the head on this. Beckford is needed, he wasn't there. It's hooked back in for Hughes. It's there! Done, Mark. Brilliant. Great performer for us. And he's made a career decision. Unfortunately, when it happens on top of the Paul Ince thing, it all looks bad. And then, of course, the Andrew Kinshelsky situation.